How to download CSGO on PC for free is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the True to Attacker channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button right now. I do appreciate it and then go and leave a like. So in today's video, I'm just essentially showing you a CSGO download and a way to get it for free. And it's a super, super easy tutorial, completely legit and legal, as actually recently CSGO become, became free and I'm showing you where to download it and the full tutorial for that. So make sure to watch this video right until the end so you don't miss any of the tricks. And without any further ado, let's jump straight into this video. As you can see, I'm now on my computer and let's jump straight into this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do to go and get the CSGO download is simply go and open up Google Chrome or the web browser of your choice as you can see we're now here now to get CSGO essentially it's actually on another platform so the first thing we need to do is download that platform which is an online marketplace for games and there we can get the free download completely free multiplayer included everything you need to play it is there so we're using an online game platform called Steam so I'm gonna show you how to download Steam and then how to download CS go from there so as you can see we're going to do is Google Steam and you'll take in here welcome to Steam so click there as you can see this is a whole site you've got so many games here and there are so many options now the first thing I do recommend doing is come up here and create an account to do that you simply want to come up and click log in here wait for it to load and as you can see you can then go and click join Steam click join Steam and you can enter information and then you can go and create your Steam account and with that Steam account you can then go and install Steam you can install Steam first but personally I find it easier to create the account um, and then go, go and download Steam. So once you create your account and uh, you're ready to go and go to the next step, then all you want to do is go and click install Steam up here. So click there. As you can see here, we've now got this option here. So Steam is the ultimate destination for playing, discussing and creating games. Um, 21 million people currently online, which is pretty cool. Um, so the next thing we want to do is simply click install Steam. Now you can do this on uh, Mac as well, but some games only work, for example, on PC. Um, some will work on both, um, so you need to check that for the games you want to play using Steam. So as you can see, you've got Steam set up down here. Mine currently says two because I've downloaded it before. So once you're ready, all you do is click on it. Now it's probably going to blank out my screen because it's just a window security pop up. So if that's for you, all you want to do is click yes um, and make sure you agree to it. Now as you can see here, welcome to the Steam setup. Using Steam, you're able to play all of your Steam games on the internet with other players and you get a loads of advantages here so let's go and hit next select your language i'm english i'm going to click next and then you can choose where it's going to go and save steam um, and the destination um, folder for it now this you can also change where your games actually download i'm pretty sure um so i have this on my c drop my ssd sorry but then i have the games on the hard drive so anyway i'm going to hit install and as you can see it doesn't take long at all to install then what you want to do is click run steam click finish now hopefully you get a pop-up like this and as you can see it's now downloading the actual installer because essentially we only just downloaded the installer we're now actually downloading steam so as you can see this converts to around 191 megabytes um uh, it just says it in kilobytes there and this will this download will depend how fast your internet is so luckily I have my internet's fairly fast right now but it can dip to be slow so if you've got slower internet it's going to take a bit more time what you need to do is just continue for this to download and uh, once you've got this then i'll be showing you the next step and like i said steam does work on many different games uh, many games are on steam which you can access with them and you can play online it's a really cool platform and i highly recommend it and now it's just extracting the package so it will just take a minute to do this and this is just sort of finishing off the update and the installation of the steam marketplace which is basically an online store so wait for it to go it doesn't take too much longer hopefully and now it's installing the update so it'll do a few steps by itself and now it's disappeared now hopefully steam will load as you can see it just disappeared from down there if it doesn't reload just go and simply search here for steam in your search for windows i've got this here so i'll just click it and it brings it to the front um it was just behind my chrome window so now what i'm going to do is go and type in my password as you can see I, i'm pretty sure it remembers my account name because i've already used this computer before um but you'll need to enter your account name which is your username which mine is tutorial tucker as that's what this channel is called so i'm going to enter my username just my password even just like that and click remember my password click login as you can see, we've now just got a 2FA um, account set thing. So I've just got to go and enter this. I'll click next. And then um, 
I'm gonna have to go and check my email so I'll quickly go and do that now and then we can go into the rest of the tutorial so I just entered the code as you can see and now says you now have access to st your steam account on this computer I click finish and now it's disappeared and hopefully it's now going to lead up the actual steam library I'll quickly explain all the different sections so here you'll have a few pop-ups but anyway you've got the store here the library the community and then just my email so the store is where we're going to go and find CSGO the library is where your current games you currently have installed previously free and paid games will be listed here and then communities where you can add friends and there's marketplaces and stuff like that so click on store it took a minute to load like I said this is literally using the internet um, I'll just put this in the middle for you and then here you can search the store so here we can go and search for CSGO just like so and as you can see CSGO Counter-Strike Counter Global Offensive click on that and then you want to wait for it to load and we've got all of these options here now as you can see that uh, here it is you can simply go and click free play game there is this prime status which you can do as well um, which is pretty cool but this is free so what we want to do is click play game as you can see there and now it's ready to launch it's updating everything as you can see you can now go install it now quickly you probably need to check this as well you'll need to go and change this so for me I am can change this install place so I'm gonna change mine to my drive D just like so and then you can go and just click select new folder and make steam library click select and boom you're done so then all you need to do is click next and as you can see it's now creating all the files and this is literally the final step for it as you can see steam is now downloading counter-strike global offensive you can track the progress of this download in the steam downloads view you can safely exit and restart steam and the download will automatically resume so essentially that's saying if you turn off your computer it's fine you can continue um, when you turn your computer back on then i click finish now i can now you just probably just saw overall cs goes around 20 gigabytes and the actual download may be different um this because the actual download is a bit while well, it's compressed um, but it's still me pretty big so as you can see I'm currently getting around 3.3 megabytes a second to check this just hover over it and you can see and it's about 1% so this is a huge download and you may need to leave it overnight um, that's a quick tip if you have slow internet either leave it on overnight or leave it on while you're out um, it's the best tip and make sure you aren't using your computer for other stuff while trying to download it as that will make the process a lot lot longer so guys that was today's video I hope you did find it useful and now you can go and enjoy CSGO CSGO is a great game it's got a multiplayer and there's so many aspects to the game with the skins you can level them up and buy more it's such such an awesome game and it's pretty cool that they made it free actually so yeah if you did find this video super super helpful please go down below and hit the like button I really do appreciate it hopefully I've got a ton more tutorials coming every single day I'm really trying to go and grow this channel to one of the biggest tutorial channels on YouTube so all your support is very much appreciated and here's a bit more background gameplay as always the gameplay credits are in the description as well and anyways thanks for watching have an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next video peace